Okay. Files finally downloaded. Uh, where are we at? Oh, forgot to talk. We'll do that. Matchups. We are going to the 21st. It is the 20th right now. Um, we'll do my screen. High chance that this crashes. But we'll do it just so everyone can see that it does. I'm not messing with anything. So we'll move forward. <gasps> Ooh, we didn't crash. Look at that. Uh, just make sure. I can't remember if I was supposed to. If I had a co host today. Uh, where am I? Today is December 16th. I have no co host. Okay, that's fine. Just so I need to make sure I'm in the right server. Pardon me. Alrighty then. So, uh, matchups today. We have a whole bunch of prime times to get done. Uh, First day, we got a prime time rolling out. Buffalo versus Providence. Obviously, there's a bet up on that. Quick Sim, uh, Kun versus Lun. Uh, Toronto versus OBX. More Quick Sims. Voyagers versus DBS. Quick Sim. And then a Lun versus Buff to close us out. So, Buffalo and uh, Lunar Base watchers spoiled today. Double dipping on stream games. Uh, take a look at the milestones. Uh, so, recent milestones we hit. Beef Rye, uh, 1,250 hits. On the Voyagers, uh, staying alive there. Might be his last season, I think. Uh, maybe one more in and we'll see. Um, Sov and Shane Knox, both hitting the 1,000 mark. It's a big one. Baden Person crossing 600 runs with Houston Hayes hitting 350 walks. Uh, Turanga Leela in their corpse run hitting 75 wins. Uh, playing good sloths. Crabs to Potson, 50 saves. Caesar Azwaje, 1500Ks. Allegra Macarena, 1250Ks. Hugo Hackenbush, uh, 1000. And then a couple of Pathfinders pitchers hitting 1000 strikeouts, which uh, eight seasons ago I don't think would have been a possibility. So uh, congrats. Uh, I know one's my pitcher, but more for Repnar for really sticking it out and being able to hit those numbers for us. Um, we're seeing currently the all-time pitchers for uh, the Pathfinder staff for all the records right now. So exciting. Uh, Lizzie Mitchell, 2,000 innings played. Uh, doing that on the Rougarous. Some possible milestones. Rake in the Lake going to hit 1,000 hits, uh, hopefully. Five away. Arthur Morgan is just one away from 200 home runs. Uh, joining an elite group, I believe, because 200 seems to be, I think that's kind of like one of your good benchmarks. IPO3, uh, again, staying alive on the Vandals. Going to hit 600 RBIs, hopefully, sooner than later. Greenwall, 300 stolen bases. Gianna Morgan, I think this is their corpse run as well, 100. And then Benny Sheets went away from 75 wins. But we will get this going as, where's my other one? Matchups, Buffalo versus Providence is our first game up. Uh, did I? I think I did. I won't matter at this point. Okay. Uh, who has more hits? Is the bid up? I think it's been open for quite a while, so I've got this file moving. Uh, so we'll just get this going here. Um, because I think it's been up long enough for people to get the bids in if they want them in. Uh, Providence holding a slight advantage here. Uh, Buffalo hoping that they don't have to use their bullpen since they only have like 3.5 relievers. I think it's been hurting them a bit this year, but uh, they are sticking to it. So we will get this started. Leading us off is Calvera in the leadoff spot against Flamethrower Meta. And then you're gonna pop that up in center field. And, oh, whoa, whoa, what? <laughs> That was uh, my bad. I thought that was going to center field, but it just skied in the air. It was caught by the pitcher. Uh, Monster's going to follow it up with a double. Have a good season there in the two-hole there for Buffalo. Uh, oddly enough, I'm not sure if you guys knew, I think Buffalo has both the best offense and worst defense so far this season as far as runs for and runs against. So if they can get that short up and just stop letting so many up, they, uh, they could maybe start climbing the ladder here a bit. 
Uh, there's a run early, though, as we have uh, your second double, maybe a triple. Yep, they're going hard. Nope. Nope. Yep. Nope. Yep. Uh, so that is an early 2 nothing lead here for Buffalo. Swinging straight out there for Fowler Jr. Oh, BNN. Yeah, that's my bad. Sorry, Enoch. I think last time I streamed was playoffs, so that would make sense. Boop. And we're back on. Swinging strike out there by few, so quick two outs here. Shicey Jr. tries to keep that hot back going, but cannot hold back the swing. Swinging strike out there by Savage. Mike Forbes Jr. steps up, and they're going to go down swinging as Flamethrower Meta using that Flamethrower arm to good effect. Uh, but that is going to be potentially another double here as uh, Buffalo um, getting half homers left and right here. But a uh, staring strike out there by Cavero will end that threat. So they keep it close here at two runs. Uh, Providence Batters are going to stop striking out, though, if they want to get something going here. As that was popped up and caught by the left field. Benito, who I believe won Rookie of the Year last year, struggling a bit here this season so far, will pop out into left. That is nice diving catch by the shortstop. Take that away. Uh, third baseman is going to run up to get it, but is not going to be able to make a play as Dentro runs that one out. Mustard is... Uh, Got a case of the ketchups as they are out. Uh, and that's going to touch the wall, though. Is this another double? Good lord. Um, that is your fourth double this game by uh, Buffalo. Just gap, 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 gap all day long. Uh, Valor Jr. tries to do the same thing, but it is going to have too much carry on it and will be caught. Alou here. There's your first hit of the game as that's into the gap as this is double city here for both teams now. No one wants to hit singles. Staring strike out there by Cove. Cool Crab gets underneath that one, and that will be run down by the left fielder. That one is hit to the shortstop. They're going to make the play at first, and that will be that. Swing strike out there by Savage. Forbes Jr. is going to draw a walk. Our first non-double hit, I believe. There they go, steal in second, and they're going to be gunned down. Benito flexing the arm. That one's hit hard, deep, and see you later. Taylor, solo blast. Extends the lead for Buffalo to 4 nothing now. That is a staring strikeout by Calvera. And the Providence has got to get the offense going here. Sooner than later, you would reckon if they want to get back into this. Fuse is going to strike out again, though. Shicey Jr. is going to strike out. As Mio Hopper is having a game here so far. They get a walk. There goes the runner, and they will be safe. Turning singles into doubles all day long. And that's going to squeak past the third baseman and shortstop. Here comes the runner. I could have, by that animation at first, they looked like they were going to second and loop back. I was like, this is the perfect OOTP on an animation. They'd get thrown out at first or something, but it didn't happen. They got back in time. But that's going to be all as Providence does chip one away on this lead. As Flamethrow Meta trying to keep this at just four. Denstro gets a hold of that one and that will be caught. Mustard puts that one in the center. Not going to have enough in it as that is caught as well. Bottom lineup here as Alou is going to get tossed out at first. Cove goes down as so winging. Cool Crab also is going to remain cold, not cool, as we see by the ice cube uh, symbol there. Wizard, a little bloop single there in the right field. Valor Jr., not going to be able to swing yet as there's a stolen base. Number 47 now. Valor Jr. going down on strikes. That one's hit at the right fielder. Runner thought about it, but returns. A walk here, so two out, two on situation. Taylor, as there is a pitching change, as Buendia comes in and will get saved by their center fielder, who is going to be Mr. Alligator. Just 
Three innings left. Eight outs now after that swinging strike out by Gonzalez. Fuse is going to ground it to third. Going to be tossed out at first. That one is going to drop, so Shicey Jr. keeps it alive. And a wild pitch will give him a free pass to second. Alligator, after making the defensive play, cannot make the offensive play and will go down on strikes. Now it's hit into the g -g 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 gap as that is the fifth double by Buffalo now this game. Calavera making it to second. Swing strike out there by a monster. Denstro swinging a strikeout. And then a ground out to first is going to end it. So nothing doing there for that double, unfortunately. That's the first as we are just running out of outs here for Providence as that is going to be another one as they are down to their last four to get something done here. Alou gets underneath that one but doesn't have enough as it will be caught by the left fielder. Nice catch as uh, it says leaping grab on the top ticker. That one's hit to center field by Wizard. Going to be caught. That one is going to be run down by the right fielder. Savage puts that one into the outfield. That's going to touch grass. Forbes Jr. goes down on strikes. Last six outs here for the Crabs. They got to get something going here as uh, Hooper is still in the game. Wild pitch is going to send the runner to second. We'll see if there is a pitching change now. Not quite yet. That one is shallow in center field. They probably won't tag. Top of the order. Up. Gonzalez goes down on strikeouts. Strikes. Not strikeouts. He struck out, though. Fuse pops out. And that's going to do it as uh, Providence threatened early. But uh, Hooper able to lock it down. Taylor into the g -g 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 gap as that's going to be a leadoff double. Yes. Calavera tries to do the same thing, but that hangs a little bit too high. But runner will tag up to third. Good chance here for Buffalo to get another run on the board. Monster will strike out, though. And Denstro as pitching change as stars. And Denstro is going to put that into the gap as that will extend the lead to 5 1. That one is hit deep. Into left field, Cellulator Mustard with their 12th home run of the year. That's a 7-1 lead. You got to think this one is likely over as Providence's bats have been all asleep at the plate today. Uh, and Buffalo is going to keep it going here as that is going to be a single in a right field as Wizard wants to steal another base. And it looks like they're going to as there is no throw made. That's the first. We'll get out of the inning. We have Junior, Shiesty Junior, E Gator, and a Goose Up. Shram comes in in relief. That's going to be swinging strike out there. Gator draws a walk. Ken Steele, keep an eye on that. They don't, as there is a staring strike out by Goose. It is all down to Benito to keep going. But that'll do it is that is a pop fly to center field. Buffalo's going to take this one 7-1. Wasn't even a question. Was not threatened at all. As Hooper had a pretty good game. Uh, Wizard goes 4 for 5. Two RBIs. As we had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 doubles by Buffalo. Investing in all the gap. Uh, Hooper, uh, unfortunately, could not go the distance, but still an uh, amazing outing there. As 11 Ks and only two walks and three hits. Obviously, your player of the game. Let's hit the old save button. Raptors are going to beat the Sloss 5-4 to four as well. The Sloss almost stole this one away from them, putting up all four of the runs in the last two innings, but just coming up a bit short. Uh, combined 24 hits. Not often you see that in the majors. Uh, long pipe, 3-5, for five, one RBI on San Antonio side. And everyone on Boise actually getting a hit with Gon Gonzalez Jr. getting three. Uh, Cove will get the win. Burger the save. Uh, Lila. Gets the loss. 
um, and you play the game's name, Markov. Uh, what was... Oh, Lila was looking for... Oh, no, they already hit their milestone. Okay. <gasps> okay, 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 okay. Aviators are going to beat the Voyagers here 5-3 to three as they put up four runs in the top of the ninth to steal this one away. Uh, 13 hits, 9 as a Dunkin' Donuts continues their little bit of a good tear here. 4 for 5. Uh, as Cole Kim has the contact gene there. 358, good lord. Pardon me. Dion, 3 for 4, 2 ribbies for New York. Down to pitching, Toad's still going to get the W. All serve it up. Going to get the double ouch, the loss, and the blown save. Player of the game is Kelvin Gausman. Pathfinder's going to shut out the Vandals here. 9 nothing on 12 hits. Uh, wow. Dinamite trying to stat pad in one game alone. Four hits, four runs, four RBIs, and one strikeout at the top of the lineup. Down to pitching, uh, Cove is going to get the yell, only lasting 3.1 innings as Thrasterson uh, goes a strong 7.1, only allowing three hits. You know, your player of the game, Dinamite. Uh, what's it? TS Tolls asked for a 6 and 1 Apex stream. So there's your one loss. Uh, hopefully, we get the other six as wins. And Zach had asked for an undefeated Nashville stream. So we're still on tab for that, okay? Um, 7 to 3 is your final <laughs> 11 hits by the stars. Um, Nate Nitro, uh, your lone multi hit game on Indy, as he is having a pretty damn good season there at the top of the lineup for them this year. Uh, Steiner, three or sorry, 2 for 3, 2 runs, 3 RBIs, and a walk. Pretty much a perfect game there. Down to pitching, uh, Sim, Sim, oh, Simi Callas Jr. Is that something spelt backward again? Uh, it's going to take the loss as Azwaje gets the win. Uh, hits a new, hit, hits a new and gets the save. Uh, player of the game is Aldebert Steiner. Oh, uh, well, we had a marathon game here as the Sea Serpents will take this one of 15 innings against the Rugorus. 5-4, combined 27 hits. Uh, four hit game there for a just in case in the losing cause as we have a four hit game for Jacob on Seattle side down pitching force is going to get the L uh, and I don't think there was a starter used both teams uh, so good news for them uh, as bear version 2.0 will get their fifth win wow uh, getting really lucky in the relieving roles player of the game is Alyssa Jacob Toro's going to beat the Scorpions 7-3 here on 13 hits. Uh, Three-hit game performance for Jackson at the top of the lineup and McGillicuddy at the bottom. Stroh is going to get the W as Secret takes the loss. Uh, player of the game is Matt Stroh. And last but not least, the Demons are going to beat the Space Rangers 5-2 on 10 hits. Uh, Dogwood, two for four, three RBIs for them. I know Dogwood is normally lurking in here somewhere. I don't know if they're here today. Uh, and then a couple multi-hit games there for Alvarez and Boyant. Quarters is going to pick up their eighth win, having a good season, as Into Dirt picks up their fourth loss. Player of the game is Quinton O. Quarters. Down to the minors, Mingos are going to beat the Hepcats 10-6. to six. Uh, as they had a six run fifth inning still wouldn't have been enough in the end as they had to put up more runs uh, Sakudo going three for five three ribbies Deville three for four three ribbies and then a three hit game there for Lawrence pitching Bakugo is going to get the W uh, hide the hold as Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt no relation to the other one or is there uh, gets their second loss in relief player of the game is Nash Deville Dillo Dillos are going to beat the Bears. 11-8 is your final uh, as they get out hit, but it won't matter as they're going to take the W. Uh, three RBI game there for Torres and a Guile. And then and Dillos are going to respond with two four RBI games by Murphy and Slamdolph. A lot of pitching used in this one as Mitchell only last 1.2 innings before they got the hook. Um, as Wu will get the win. Bread the hold, able to save. And your player of the game is Troy Murphy. 
Extra inning games here as the Wheelers are going to beat the Swifties in the marathon game as they put up four runs to emphatically take it in the 14th. Uh, you would assume if it's a bottom of the inning, that's a grand slam to end the game. Uh, so uh, that's a big ouch there. Uh, and that will probably be Mick Neely there who would have been the recipient of that slam out of the park. Down to pitching, T2 is going to get the double ouch, the loss, and blown save. Uh, Conus, their seventh win in relief, and player of the game is Scott McNeely. Lemurs beat the Firehawks 13-2 on 22 hits as they absolutely drub them in this one. Um, honestly, everyone pretty much came out for Louisville except for poor Javier Franco who just struck out twice and left 10 runners on base. So... 13 runs, but, like, look how many they left on base. 36. This could have been so much worse than what it was. Uh, wow. Ah, uh, Berger takes, or sorry, gets the win. Nitro still looking for their first. Uh, that gets the loss in California side. And player of the game is Zach Hartman. Kingpins keep it rolling here. Uh, their 36th win here. 62 is your final and 14 hits. Uh, Essence, four hits. Uh, Sterling, three for five, two RBIs. And three hits there for Murphy. Uh, three hit game there for Thomas on losing cause. Yash will get the W. Maybe the loss. Player of the game is Yvonne Essence. So we'll hit the save. I think I did already, but never hurts to keep on saving. No minor games today. No majors games today. Uh, so this is 22nd. Yep. So we have another prime time coming up, up with Kun and Lun. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. Where are we? I am blind. All right, we do have a bet up here. Who will win straight up? Uh, Cancun has the edge for more points a bit on them. Uh, it says Kun versus Nash. It is Kun versus Lun. So if you bet on Nashville, do you mean Lunar Base? Oops. I'm clicking too many things. I pinned a message and I didn't mean to pin it. Uh, unpin this message. There we go. All right. Correct teams in. Kun versus Lun. It's the matchups of the Uns. Who comes out on top? This is almost unbelievable or unbearable. Understatement of the year, no love for Lun. A sentiment held across the league. Just kidding. Please don't come after me, Lunar Base. I shall never stop. I'm officially a dad now, so I can make all the dad jokes. I got my dad joke passed now. It's official. Cannot be revoked. It's almost sad that Greenwall is batting fourth instead of third, because then we should have the matchup of the face gens between him and Dog and Eminem. All right, I think this is good. We'll get this going. Uh, surprising amount of points bid, so that's fun. So we'll see who comes out on top as we got HOR Hypocrites against Ike Sampson. Uh, yeah, it was the Space Rangers, the Supernovas, and then back to the Space Rangers. 
Uh, walk here and then strike out as Jingleheimer Smith, the Pathfinder Slayer in the playoffs. It's going to get the filler's choice done on them, but uh, that'll be a swing strikeout. So Lunar Base stepping up. Morgan, uh, pretty ridiculous stat split there. 17 home runs, 45 RBIs, 26 stolen bases, and almost hitting 300. Uh, that is going to drop into the outfield, and that will get a single, so two on, no out. That's the third, and that is going to be just one. That is hit into center field. Will be caught. We'll see if they send the runner. They do, and throw is not in time, as that will be a first lead of the game here for the Space Rangers. And that will be a strikeout there by Chains. Tried to go in the gap with that one. It's blue sky, but a woo. He had it stumble a bit, but he did make the catch there in the end. Swinging strikeout there by Diamonds. Burns stares at that strikeout. And that's going to end it there as uh, Lunar Base back up. And nice diving catch there by Aza. Steals one from in the lake. Staring strikeout there by Newman. Boyan. That is in the left field and will be caught. So 8-9-1 coming up here. Aza, that's down the third baseline. Nice barehanded grab. We'll get them tossed out at first. Walk there by McGillicuddy. Not known to steal. Double play ball. They're just going to turn the lead off. Two out. One on. Up through the middle. Goes Sims. Jingleheimer. Can't put that power back to use as that will be a fly out of center field. Lunar base holding on to that one nut and lead. As there's a free out there. No, as that is dropped in foul territory. That's going to be an error charged. And they will get out lucky in that one as that will be a fly out to right field. Staring strike out there by Morgan Alvarez. Hits that one to left field. Will be caught. Four, five, six coming up. That's it. Shortstop will be tossed out at first. Blue Sky. Going to punch that one up the middle. That's going to drop. That is woo, the slowest ball known to man. As they beat out the throw to first. That was that an underhanded throw or something. What was that nut? Nutty thing that just happened. Anyways, runner tags off. We got a bases loaded situation. McGillicuddy, chance to deliver here, is going to deliver a flyout, unfortunately. Cancun still going to have to wait for their first run of the game. Staring strike out there by Eminem. Hulk of Votto grounds out second, going to be tossed out at first. Chains. Trying to break these chains, but can't as that is uh, caught. Jackson right at the center fielder. Sims swinging strikeout. Took a big hack at that one. Jingleheim Sniff going to draw a walk. Greenwall also draws a walk. So these two out rallies, totally a thing. And that's past the first baseman. And there's Blue Sky is going to finally get Cancun on the board. We have ourselves a tie game. Diamonds can't get that one to drop. So they're just going to have to settle for one. But we have restarted this game effectively. That is popped up in the right field and caught. Newman. Puts that one. Ooh, sneaks it past the center fielder. We got ourselves a double here. So, runner scoring position, two outs to work with. Boyon can't float that one as that one sinks. Cross Erickson draws a walk. Two on, two out. Seems to be a trend here this game. Morgan hits that one into the gap. Doesn't have enough. That is gone. See you later. Three run blast as he's going to pad those totals. And Lunar Base takes the lead once again. Samson still in. They're going to be tossed at first, but damage is done. 
Burns is going to lead us off with a single, though, trying to get Cancun right back into it. Swinging strike out there by Azza. Miguel Cuddy. Swinging strike out there. Jackson. Gets a piece of that one. Ooh, nifty running. Beats out that. Someone get them the respirator because they are going to be gassed. A base is loaded. Two out situation. It's the batter you want up. Jing. Jingles. <laughs> I stuttered there. Jacob Jingleheimer Smith. He's going to draw a walk. That's going to put in another run. Greenwall, also known to hit some power, is going to get the runner at second. Tossed out. I mean, hard, hard situation with two outs, but they at least got a run up on the board. Staring struck out there by Zog and Eminem. Hulk Avato pops that one in the center field. That is caught. Chains cannot hold back the swing as they go down on strikes. We are into the home stretch here. Last three innings. Cancun running out of outs. Here's they down to eight now, trying to get this thing tied slash one. Make that seven outs here as Diamonds flies out. Burns. That is not excellent as he goes out at first. In the lake, trying to increase this league, will draw a walk. Newman. Hit a double last time. Can't replicate that as that will be out in the right field. <clears throat> Walk there by Voyant. So good opportunity here for Lunar Base to extend this wild pitch. Moves the runners up. Erickson goes down on strike. So they're going to have to get a hit here to drive in these runs. Morgan will draw a walk to make it even more difficult. Alvarez draws a walk. Well, I mean, eat my words here. You don't need to hit to drive in runs. Just walk a bunch. There's your fifth. Swinging strike out there by Eminem, though. We'll end it. Cancun down to the last six outs. Bottom of the order coming up. Azza goes down on strikes. McGillicuddy. Yeah, that one, a little too much hang times. That will be caught. Jackson. To the third baseman, and they are going to be tossed out at first. Hulk Avado sneaks that past the third baseman here. As Lunar Base trying to keep that lead here going. That has got some hang time out of by Chains, and maybe they've broken out of the slump as that is a two run blast. So, see you later. As this one is getting out of reach, uh, hits are equal, but a home run is worth that much more. Lake goes down on strikeouts as they still have the fireworks going. Someone tell them to turn them off. Boyant as center fielder comes in to, in relief. Will fly out. Last three outs here for Cancun. Sims, JJS, and Wall. One strikeout. Two strikeout. And that is going to be out of here as Wall hits a solo blast. Uh, too little, too late, I feel, but at least makes the score look a little bit better when we're going to finish up here. As that is a, another run on the board here for Cancun. Benjamin comes in and will draw the last out. So 7-3 is your final As Cancun out hits Lunar Base, but uh, unfortunately, a couple timely home runs by the Space Rangers going to get done. Uh, as we saw, Milestones, that home run actually was Morgan's 200th. So congratulations to Shu if he is around. If not, I'm sure someone in, hopefully someone from Lunar Base is on. It can just be like, hey, congrats in the LR. Um. Multi game here for Blue Sky and the losing cause. Obviously, Morgan, that three run blast is going to be your three ribbies there. Uh, Samson takes the loss as Hypocrites gets their seventh win. Player of the game is Arthur Morgan. Crabs are going to beat the Vandals here. Six to three is your final. Uh, getting out hit, but. Just make it more of theirs when they have the opportunity. Uh, Crabs really even offense here. Uh, two hits. Uh, 
three at bats, two RBIs for Goose, probably your standup performance. Uh, Lothbrock picking up their 10th loss, almost a 12 ERA. That's a yikes for me, dog. Uh, Torrent gets their seventh win. Depotson's 10th save here in this early part of the season. Throw the game was Swan Song Goose. Uh, Surge uh, win another one here as uh, they beat saw 6 4 on 11 hits. Uh, to do the Trunch Denstro. Um, not great average, but has been picking up these last couple of games here. Uh, two for four, three ribbies, their total, and OOTP Wizard just keeps it going. Uh, San Antonio is going to take the loss out of the pen, their fourth of the year, as Delhi the Index has a blown save, their fifth, as WA will get their fifth win. Player of the game is Dolores Clifton. Uh, Voyager is going to beat the Raptors here as they have mirrored records, uh, just in opposite ends. Uh, 2 nothing and a bit of a pitching duel. Uh, multi eight games here coming from at Palidorus and Rye. Wow, Rye is actually having a really good season here in his, uh, his uh, old man tour. Uh, Ovechkin takes the loss. Parco gets the complete game shutout. Uh, 10 strikeouts, one walk. Nice performance there. Obviously your player of the game. Pathfinder is going to beat the Aviators here. 9-3 to three is your final. Uh, three hit game for Harvey Brinkley Jr. Putting up a ribby as well. And three hit game there for Jeff Lewis. OBX side con will put up three. Fielder two. Starscream goes the distance. Uh, gets their 11th win of the year. Um, I feel it's almost... Uh, appropriate since Diesel is an A's fan. Uh, you need to hold up that we may never lose again sign for him right now. Uh, Sheets gets the loss. I think they were waiting. Uh, where is my milestones? Yeah, Sheets will have to wait a couple more days, I think, to get that 75th win. Sorry, buddy. Um, player of the game, though, is Star Scream. Stars are going to beat the Rougarous 10-3 here. Um, almost had a shutout, but the Rougarous stole a couple of runs at the end. 14 hits here. Uh, Jake Sillum's going 2 for 3, 3 RBIs. Bailey Jones, 2 for 4, 3 RBIs. Randberg, 3 RBIs and losing cost, so that was probably a 3-run blast there. Lycan will get their 7th loss of the year as Donahue picks up their 5th win. Player of the game is Phil Donahue. Apex are going to beat the Scorpions 4-3 to three, um, on 8 hits. As a bunch of 2-hit games here from the middle of the lineup there from Death Valley as McKenzie is going to go 2-4 for four, 3 RBIs. Nice little pickup for Indianapolis. Lunar base drafting so well that they had to uh, find a home and it's found a great place here in Indy. Tsunami gets their third loss as Chapter picks up their 6th win and bubbles their first save. Player of the game is Curtis McKenzie. Uh, sea Serpents, another extra inning game here, but thankfully for them, only one extra inning, and they're going to win this one. Two to one is your finals. They triple hits on Detroit, still barely squeaked by. Detroit made three errors this game. Uh, some defensive coaching to go on in the off days, I think. Miss, Babin Person, Jacob, all multi hit games. Bright will get the W out of the pen, and Delling the loss. Player of the game is Irma Gerd. Uh, I think it hit save, but I'm just paranoid enough that one time I had, like, all the crashes. Dillos are going to get 30 wins here as they steal this one from the Swifties, really. Swifties left all the scoring at the end of the game, um, but, I mean, really, so do the Dillos, top of the ninth. 4-3 is your final. Uh, a couple of multi-hit games here by Toksum, Slamdolph, and Whirlwind. Uh, as on the State College side, you have Andrews Jr. and Wellerman. Uh, Abel's going to pick up the W for the Dillos. McChapper person, the loss. Uh, almost went the distance, actually, for State College. Not often you see that in the minors. Player of the game is Jeff Salad. Not to be confused with Doug Meat. Wheelers beat the Hep Hats 2-1 as they, well, quite out-hit them, but uh, just couldn't get the runs on the board. Uh, yeah, it's 21 runners left on base is definitely going to... Um, <laughs> 
show you that exact fact as well. Multi games here by G Gian Nulis, Panda, and McNeely. Uh, JJS is going to get the loss as Abernathy the win. Buckley, their first save of the year, and player of the game is Guy Manuel Lore. Barn burner in this one as it does go just barely in extras, but 13 to 11 is your finals. The Ronos beat the Bruce City Bears. Combined 38 hits. Uh, a five hit game for Cove, three RBIs. Argent putting up four hits, three RBIs. Four hit game by Stern. All the pitching happened. Um, just too much to cover here, so we'll keep moving. The player of the game is Cove. Kingpins beat the Lemurs 9-6 to six is your final as they get out hit, but just more time to hitting on their half. Allen at the top of the line for Louisville, 4 for 6, 2 RBIs and losing cause. And Kingpins really just even hitting all around. Everyone pitched in. Roll will get the loss. Goatbinski the win. Uh, Rugsy with the Heelys, their 10th save. Player of the game is Josh Allen. And then the Mingos will beat the Firehawks. 63 is your final on nine hits. Uh, California putting up lots of multi hit games here, but uh, the Mingos just chipping away here as 43 at the bottom of the lineup, putting up three hits, three RBIs. Slossberg the loss, Stoner the win. Player of the game is Dizzy Stoner. Okay. Uh, so we have OBX versus Toronto coming up next day. Uh, I'm not sure if there is a prediction up yet, so we can get that going. Uh, while we do that, I'm going to refill my water here because uh, my throat is getting dry. Okay, no bet, I guess. Uh, that's fine. Uh, we can get this going now. Uh, Toronto holds slight advantage in the matchups here, uh, but I've been burned in the past, so let's not assume anything. Even game, let's go. Okay, there's a bet. Who will get more extra base hits? Pardon me. Poor Psyduck, uh, not having a bad season, just every time he pitches, the team apparently has a nap. Um, so I think unfortunately, because of the way Toronto performs when he pitches, this is a winnable game for OBX. I hope for his case that uh, it does not go that way, but well, we shall see. Um, I think we can leave this open a little bit uh, just because this has been going and I do want to keep us moving here. So I wouldn't close the bet immediately. There is a bet going for people who want to bid. Please bid, but we'll get the game going here. Um, just like close it at the end of the first or something if you can. But let's get it started. <clears throat> Dean Amite up against Adam Hangman playing in the old OBX park. Uh, woo, that, okay. That uh, dribbled past everyone, and he's going to make it a first. There he goes to second. No throw made, so free stolen base there. Uh, Mills will stare at a strikeout. Johnson Jr., as Dinamite is going to steal third. Just running the bases at this point. Johnson Jr. will draw a walk. Pilsudski goes down on strikes. Brinkley Jr., is going to sneak this one past. So all those stolen bases will come in handy here as that will help to drive in the first run of the game. That one is hit past the second baseman by Love. Here comes the runner and will be safe. Lewis, see if he's going to keep the hot streak going. Cannot as he will go down on strikes. Early 2-0 lead here for Toronto. Donuts against Duck. 
as that's going to be right at the first baseman. Cole Kim, that average just keeps climbing. The man cannot be stopped right now as uh, Keiru will go down on strikes. Khan, the runner was going, so they'll have to make the play at first, and they will. Catter. That is to the second baseman. That will be tossed out at first. Ixon to the first baseman. That'll be touched up. And then Dinamite will not get the chance to run the bases this time as uh, that is going to be caught. Nice solid inning there for OBX. Brooks trying to shake off the ice cubes will be tossed out at first. Henry hits that one at second or shortstop. Wow. Nice grab. Nice quick throw. Fielder. That's the shortstop as Lewis is going to make the majority of the plays here this inning. Mills gets a hold of that one. I don't think it has enough as, yes, it will be caught in the corner. Looked risky, but uh, ultimately nothing. But Zach Johnson Jr. will not make the same mistake as that is gone. Oh, so you loiter. Solo bra bla brast. Solo brast. Um, no, that is a solo blast. Uh, one nothing. Or one nothing. One run up on the board here for Toronto. That is hit into left field. Pilsuski tries to do the same thing, but that is going to run out of gas before it reaches the wall. A Brinkley Jr. right at the left fielder. So left field, busy out there, doing some laps. Got our Bonzo. That is to shortstop. Will be tossed out at first. Raka. Hey, you, you, Raku, 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 you tripping. Tripping, 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 trip. Uh, donuts will go down on strikes. So Toronto is back up to bat here as Love pops out into center field. Will be caught. Lewis is good. Ooh, wow. That went, whoo, whoo, that was fast. Uh, nice pick up and throw there to gun him out at first. Catter will keep us going there as that is a single in the left field. Ixon tries to do the same thing, but that will be picked up by the third baseman and that will be out at first. Kim. Going to ground at shortstop. Keru, former Pathfinder, is going to fly out to left field, and that will be caught. Khan goes up the middle there, so keeps this inning alive here. Uh, not known to steal, so Brooks is... Ooh, diving catch by shortstop, as I thought that was for sure a single. Top of the lineup here, Dinamite goes down on strikes. Mills... Hits that one into left field. That's going to touch down there as that is a single. Johnson Jr. Ooh, that was a pitch on the inside, I think. And uh, they're going to get him there on the... Uh, I guess he couldn't hold back the, the bat. Strike up there. Henry now into the g -g 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 gap. That's going to be a, at least a leadoff double. We'll see if they'll get the ball in quickly to hold him there. Yes, they will. Good chance here for OBX to get on the board. Fielder. Goes down on strikes. Garbanzo. That's the third baseman, and they will make the play at first. Oraka. That's going to sink past third baseman, and here comes the runner. That's going to be a, a double, and that is going to be a run. 3-1 now as OBX is on the board. Donuts puts that one to the outfield. That's going to touch down. Here comes the throw. Ooh, good relay in. Will hold the runner at third. Kim is going to... Oh, right up the wall. I thought that was the lead gone right there. Just not enough carry on it. Brinkley Jr. will draw, draw a walk. Swing strike out there by Mo Love. Lewis. That one's going into center field, but runner wasn't moving off first, so I think that is a fly out, and it is. Catter drops this one into the outfield. It's going to have two on, two out here for Ixon. Pitching change as Toadstool is in. The next one is going to drop this one into right field, but runner holds at third. Dinamite to the pitcher. They can't make the play at first, so that will allow a run to cross. Mills puts this one to the outfield. That's going to touch the wall. That's going to cash one. Cash two. Cash three. Bases clearing double for Mills. 7-1 now for Toronto. That's into the outfield here. As here comes the runner. And the... Oh, no. The ball went wild at the plate. 
I it looked like the runner might have been tossed out, but uh, as we are still going here, it's Toad still is having some tough luck here in relief. That one is hit, but I think we'll be caught to end the pain here. Keru goes down on strikes. I'm so sorry, guys. I should be paying attention to that uh, BNN as well. Looks like there was a no-no going, but it was lost, so that's unfortunate. Um, single here by Khan. Brooks puts that one to center field. Will be run down by Mite. Henry. Oh, wow. It's Providence is just taking it to Vancouver. 13-0. Uh, that is hit into the gap here. Is you got to think the Toronto extra base hits. Um, I think is definitely the favorite here. <laughs> I have not been keeping count, unfortunately. Uh, runner will move up to third there on the ground up by Lewis Catter. Mm, not sure if that's deep enough. They're gonna run it anyways. It is gonna be sack fly, nine one Toronto. Ixon draws a walk here as we go back to the top of the order. Uh, pitching change now as Hospital Socks is in. I just, I don't know where that name came from, but every time I read it, I do kind of chuckle under my breath. Like, Hospital Socks, what? Okay. Uh, Fielder uh, is going to go down with strikes. The Psyduck is still in this. Uh, probably going to get the hook here soon. We'll see. Uh, there's a ground out there. Toss out at first. Raka. Goes down on strikes. We're heading into the eighth inning here. Mills up against Sox. That is going to be a fly out there in the center field. Johnson Jr. Can't sink this one past the third baseman. We'll get tossed out at first. Pilsudski goes down on strikes. There's the pitch and change as Tim Cramblin is in. He will strike out his first batter, Dunkin' Donuts. Cole Kim goes down on strikes as well. And Keiru will ground at shortstop, and they are out at first. Brinkley Jr. is going to draw a walk against Sox. Mo Love also draws a walk, so two on, no out here. Lewis steps up. Going to, ooh, get that one stolen from him in right field. That one is going to bounce off the wall there for a catter. That's going to drive in one. Runners move up to second and third. Ixon. As that is over the center fielder's head. All the runners are going. They seem to know that one was going to clear center field. As uh, that is going to drive into. Uh, reverse. Joey Votto is in now. Two on. One out. That one is skied in left field by Mills. That will be caught. Johnson Jr. Goes down on strikes. OBX down to the last three outs. Quite the hill to climb. As Khan will start us off with a drawn walk. Brooks. Wild pitch moves Khan up to second. Swinging strike out there by Brooks. Henry. Puts that one to the left field. That will touch down. Runner is on third but will not go yet. Fielder. Double play ball, but they will only get one as they get the runner second. OBX will get their second run on the board. Garbanzo will draw a walk here as Kramlin have a bit of control issues. Maurer comes in to finish this off and will with a four-pitch strikeout. Five-pitch? Five-pitch? Four. Toronto's going to take this one 12-2 is your final on 14 hits. Uh, Mills has a three RBI game, really just RBI spread all around. The only ones missing out is Pilsudski and Lewis. Duck will get the W as Hangman gets the loss. Player of the game is Cy Duck. Uh, Crabs are going to hold on to that. 13 runs. Uh, they do let up one here a little bit late, but 13 to 1 is your final. 14 hits, 9 runs in the second. Uh, I'm a little scared to see how many pitchers Vancouver used for their own sake. Uh, three hit game, four RBIs for Benito as he bumped that average up by quite a bit in one game alone. As 
for Vancouver, thankfully, they did not use a starter, uh, but that has got to be the majority of their bullpen. That is going to be gassed. Uh, Daly gets their seventh win. 7-0, uh, and oh, still undefeated for Providence. Player of the game is Santiago Benito. Wild Surge keep it going on a bit of a winning streak here. 5-0 uh, is your finals. They beat the Sloss on 10 hits. Uh, really just even offensive day for Buffalo. Everyone chipping in. Do a little bit here and there. Uh, Salberg will get the loss as Randall gets the W. Player of the game is Louis Hion Randall Jr. Uh, Voyagers keep the W's coming in. I think they started off a little bit rough, kind of like DVS, didn't they? Um, but they've been uh, chugging along here the last couple Sims. 7-4 is your final. Uh, unfortunate, leaving those three runs on the ninth against Boise. Uh, Emerdis will get those three RBIs. Looks like it was a three-run home run. Uh, Three-hit game there for Cove to Ribbies. Uh, Tiny Chef is unfortunately not cooking as he takes his ninth loss. ERA almost at 10. Crawford gets their seventh win. Player of the game is Xavier Crawford. Space Rangers take another one off the Tauros here. 5-4 on uh, just five hits. Uh, timely hitting is the name of the game for Lunar Base this series here. Uh, JJS, uh, two for five, three RBIs in the losing cause as it looks like Boyant, the standout member for Lunar Base. Montang takes the loss as Mano Wright gets the win. Marston, their seventh, or seventh, 11th save. Play the game's Blair Boyant. Uh, sea Serpent's going to beat the Demons here. Three to one is your final on just six hits. Uh, only multi-hit game actually coming from Shia Miss, your number two hitter. Tull gets the win. James the save. Page the loss. Player of the game is Jethro Tull. Uh, Stars win eight to three here on eight hits. Uh, two for three game, four RBIs for Sillums. As I think that's quite a bit of RBIs the last two games here. Sillums seems to be heating up. Uh, Eshelman Jr. is going to get the loss. Claw Daddy the win. And your play of the game is Jake Sillens. And the last game is Scorpions as they keep going above and below 500. Back to 500 for them now. 3-1 to one is your final against the Apex. I'm sorry, TS Tolls. I could not deliver your 6-1 sim. We tried. Um... Jake Kulik Warren going two for four, two RBIs for Death Valley, as uh, this was definitely a pitching duel. Uh, Lebowski gets the win, Clifton the save, Rove the loss. Player of the game is Jeffrey Lebowski. Down to the minors. Kingpins win again, approaching 40 wins fast here. 2-1 uh, over the Lemurs. The Lemurs kept it close on only three hits. Uh, only multi-hit game on both sides actually coming from, a, is it Trevor? Tiger Dawson. Mata gets the L, Ortiz the W, Crony the hold, Farnsworth the save. Player of the game is Luna, Jose, Rodriguez, Ortiz. Wheelers beat the Hepcats 13 to four on 20 hits. Wow, uh, 34 combined hits. That's the minors for ya. Uh, four RBI game there for Otage. Melger gets the L. Ooh, only lasting 0 0.2 innings. That's a yikes. Uh, Fisher the win. Player of the game is Z Shane Ziegler. Mingos beat the Firehawks. 8 to 5 is your final on 14 hits. Archer, two hits, four RBIs for California. Uh, Fernandez, two for five. Four RBIs in response as uh, the Mingos really that uh, chunk of the lineup doing all the work. Pitt taking the loss only after 1.1 inning as Green gets the W. Player of the game is D Fernandez. Bruce City Bears beat the Ranas 6 to 2 here on just seven hits. Uh, three errors between the two teams. Uh, what is the first name? 
Chungus McRoyden stuff. Three runs, three hits, five RBIs. Um, short of drawing walks, that's, again, pretty much a perfect day. So going to assume they're the player of the game. And they are. Uh, Crane Pool gets out forward the win. And we move on. Dillos beat the Swift Steeds 3-1. Uh, two for three day for two RBIs for Mills. Three for three day for Wellerman in the loss. Arcanum is going to get the W. Bones the loss as Abel picks up their seventh save. Player of the game, Valorant Arcanum. Uh, back to the majors. We're going to hit save again because I always do it. Uh, da -da -da -da. So 25, 26 are quick sim days. Uh, okay. No games in the majors. We have games in the minors. Uh, Dillos keep it rolling here as they put up six runs in the top of the ninth. This game was tied until then. 9-3 is your final as uh, Swifties fell apart at the end. Uh, Murphy, that's a one hit, four RBIs. Maybe they had a grand slam in the ninth. Uh, sure looks like it. Uh, three RBIs for Mills as well. Down to pitching, a wart is going to get the win as blank space is going to take the L. The um, accused for taking that L. Abigail Mills is your player of the game. Mingos beat the Firehawks 10 to three on 17 hits. Uh, Florida batting, everyone got a hit. McQueen and 43, putting in a little bit extra for them to help get the W. VRAM gonna get the losses. Jeshaun gonna get the win. Player of the game is Leon Rizton. Uh, wow, Kingpins just keep on going here. Uh, five to three is your final against the Lemurs. Uh, Lemurs playing them at the wrong time. Red Hot Kingpins just taking it to them, unfortunately. 14 hits. Uh, Essence, Sterling, both three hits each as Kid puts two up as well. Next is going to get the loss. 43, the win. How many 43s are there? Player of the game, Yvonne Essence. Bruce City Bears beat the Ranas 3-2 on 8 hits. 2-3 uh, for three game for McRoy and stuff with 3 RBIs as well. Solo's going to get the loss. McIntosh the win. Forward hand the save. Player of the game is Chungus McRoy and stuff. And last game of the game is Hepcots will finally get back in the win column here as uh, they put up all 10 of the runs in the last 3 innings. Uh, Wheeler's bullpen must have got eaten alive as mantle going four for five gets no rbis though uh that's unfortunate as uh steve-o thriller and lawrence pick up the majority of those ziegler will get a vo win in relief as grimes is going to be your double out to the loss and blown save player of the game is erp steve-o it's save just double check yep tomorrow is a quick sim as well move forward today punch the old save again and then we're going to start with the miners oh there is no miners games anyways nashville is going to beat the pathfinders four to three here as they score uh the runs in sixth and eighth to squeak by on this one uh multi-hit games here for salamanca 43 and a quarter and yaboa for Nashville and the win. Except Rolfman is going to take their third loss here as Hitsun Yagi gets the win. Crunk Jr. the save. Player of the game is Crispy Cream. Aviator is going to beat the Apex here 3 to 2 on 10 hits. Uh, Duncan Donuts and Brooks both putting up three hits each in the losing cause as we have some multi hits coming from Nitro and Million. Jones is going to get the win 
And there's uh, still quite a bit of relievers making appearances for both teams. Montgomery gets the loss. Player of the game is Walrus Jones. Wow. Marathon game. 18 innings here. As both teams put up runs in the 18th, but the uh, Space Rangers put up two to the one for Providence and steal this win. Um, not a lot of hits, actually, considering the amount of innings we played. Uh, some eight at bat appearances. Not so. Down to pitching. Um, Providence does not use a starter, it looks like. But Lunar Vase does. Uh, right in the dirt. Only threw two pitches. Um, but that is going to be a starter used to get the win. Uh, player of the game is Allegra Macarena, your starter for Lunar Race. Uh, we'll have to check that after. We can't make changes mid-sim, but we will take a look. Uh, to see. Actually, let's just look now. Uh, Lunar Race, right in your dirt, is the next starter for them. So we'll have to see if he ends up making the start for them or if there's going to be an old skipperoo here. Uh, all right, next game. Buffalo Surge continue putting up wins here as they beat the Rougarous 9-6. Both teams 11 hits, uh, but the Rougarous 3 errors might have cost them. Uh, just even hitting all around. A couple multi-hit games here for both sides, but no one really putting up the big numbers. Uh, Delete the Index gets the win and the blown save. Uh, interesting. As Tentacion takes the loss. Player of the game is Bazooka Joe. Uh, Scorpions are going to beat the Voyagers here 10 to 4 on 12 hits. Uh, we got a 4 RBI game here for Max Power as uh, he seems to be waking up finally after that absolutely lethargic start. Uh, I mean, most of DVS seems to, so uh, the league is probably getting a bit nervous about that. We're, loss is going to go to Payday version 2. Win will go to Post Scott and Relief. Player of the game is Max Power. Sea Serpents are going to beat the Sloths here 8-3 to three on 12 hits as they are getting close to 500 again. Uh, Babin person 3-4 for four, uh, as Jacob puts up 3 RBIs on their 1 hit. DePolo will get the loss. Cookie the win. Player of the game is Cookie. Detroit beats Boise as Boise unfortunately continues their skid here. Uh, four to one is your final. Uh, a couple of the hit games here from Vida, Touris, and Gunk Jr. Uh, all the girls you loved before gets the loss and blown save as Williams gets the win. Player of the game is Bobbin Bader. And Toros are going to beat the Vandals here 9-7. On 15 hits. Uh, Turo side, Blue Sky going through for five, two RBIs, and a couple multi hit games there for Burns and McGillicuddy, as Jackson also gets three hits. Uh, other Jackson is going to take the loss, as uh, Vancouver's pen is getting worked. Uh, Wheeler gets the win, not the save. Player of the game is Zodiac Blue Sky. Uh, there was no minors today, correct. So we'll move forward today. Hit save. Uh, so for Lunar Base, it looks like Right in the Dirt is still starting for them. Um, he is exhausted, though. So I wonder how long he'll last in this game. All right. Taking a look here, it is the 27th, so we have our last prime time of the week, New York versus Death Valley. Um, I think there was a bid that's been up for quite a while. Who has more pitching strikeouts? New York, Death Valley. Heavy favoring for Death, or sorry, New York. Um, I'm going to do this. I still want to participate. There we go. I put a bit on Death Valley. Uh, I have no idea who's pitching for them. 
keep a secret versus Gaussman. It's the number four starters for each team, so we'll see. Uh, but let's get her going here. Um, yeah, we'll give another 10, 15 seconds for bidding here. Uh, pretty kind of even matchup. Um, obviously, New York has been a little bit hotter as far as the wins go. Uh, but Death Valley, obviously, after like, wasn't it like a 2-11 and 11 start or just above 500 now? So, you know, remove that stretch and they've been playing pretty well. Um, but, I mean, I think Voyager started off rough as well and then they kind of picked up their socks. So, we'll see how this goes. Uh, but we'll get this going here. As we have Dion against Keep a Secret. As that'll be a ground out to third base and toss up first. Ground out to the shortstop. They'll be tossed out at first. And then that is hit into left field and just sneaks over the wall. Beef Rye. That is number 14 on the season. The old man keeps delivering. That is gone. See you later. one nothing here early. Paladoris into the gap. Just sinks that past the right fielder. He's chugging hard for third, and he is going to get there. Runner on third, two out. Cove puts that one into the gap, so that is a 2 nothing lead now as they slide into second. That is chopped to first. They will touch up and that will do it. But damage is done. Early 2 nothing lead here for New York as I don't think there was a strikeout all that inning. Slammer will ground out. Warren draws a walk. Hard goes down on strikes. New York has the lead. Max Power stares at a strikeout. And that is going to swap us around at bat as that one chops past the third baseman. And Moose is going to stretch that into a double. Uh, wild Pitch is going to give them a free pass to third. Swinging strike there by Cove. Kruger goes down on strikes. And then... Ooh, wow. The uh, shortstop glitched out of this reality for a couple seconds, but then reappeared in time to make the catch. Salmon Arms. That's into right field. Will we count? Kuma. Kuma, 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 Chameleon. Makes it to first. Now steals second. Alsman. That'll be caught. A Verero is going to ground that to shortstop and will be tossed at first. So unfortunately, all of Kuma's efforts will go to waste on this particular occasion. Keeper Secret is going to pitch a walk. There goes the runner. Got to make it there with time to spare. Rye going to really uh, give the stink eye to Secret and, and uh, make another wild pitch happen. Will go down on strikes, though. So two out, or one out, sorry, one on. That's the first. They'll make the out, but it is going to cash in the third run of the game. There is a nice little single there by Cove. We'll see if they go to get the old SB going. There it is. And it's going to make it there in time. That is up the mill here by DeMars as New York, known for their sneaky small ball, are going to keep this going here. As there is the runner tossed out at first. King. That is right at the right fielder. Slammer. It's going to sneak that one past the left fielder. They're going to second. We'll see if they turn for third. They do not. So stand up dumbbells is what they're going to have to take. Staring strikeout there by Kulik Warren. Hard. Swinging strikeout as well. Secrets back up here as that one is hit high and deep in the center field but will be caught. Kruger. That's in a right field. Off the wall. Here comes the throw. 
but they'll go into second to see. Dion goes down on strikes. Cove hits that one first, and they will make the play, and that will end the inning. Middle of the order coming up here as Max Power steps up and can't power that one past the shortstop, but will power their way to first. And the pickoff at first. Oh, 2023 20, at its finest. The amount of pickoffs at first are disgusting. On stream, get that shit out of here. And wild pitches, fix that shit. No one likes to see it. Uh, that is going to be a quick one, two, three here as uh, New York is back up to bat here as Keep Secret still in. Uh, it is early, but that pitch count is getting up there. That is hit deep in the left field. Gone. I'll see you later as Paladoris hits double digits for home runs. Solo blast as New York extends that lead to five. Nothing. Uh, as that will be your pitching change as Secret is out. Clifton is in. Mars tries to go up the middle, but no dice as Death Valley will get out of the inning there. Osman chops up one by the first and second baseman. They're on first. Barrero, double play ball. Sure is. King. That uh, little shift there with the center fielder will be caught. Moose, Cove, Kruger up as that'll be a ground up the middle. Cove. Ooh, right at the first baseman. Nice way to snare that. And then at the second baseman, so. All the balls in the ground in the infield. Toss that up first. Walk there by Slammer. Kulik Warren draws another walk here as uh, Death Valley trying to get something going here finally. Hard will fly out though. So double play as a threat now. Max Power is going to ground out into that very play as two early walks end up meaning nothing as uh, New York's defense comes through for the starting pitcher. Pop fly there into center field. Cove. That is to the pitcher and they are tossed out at first. Rye will draw a walk. Paladoris. Oh my god. The pickoffs. Ugh. It's not even my team, and I hate watching it. It's so bad. It's like it's like exponentially worse during the playoffs. Like, come on. Anyways, Salmon Arms goes down on strikes. Kuma, that's a ground up shortstop. They'll be tossed at first. Osman going to draw a walk. Verrero, wild pitch sends him to second. And this will be a free out and foul territory. Paladoris Cove DeMars up. Clifton still in, having quite the long relief appearance here. As I say that, Petrovic does come in. This one is going into the gap, but will be run down by the center fielder. Uh, DeMars is going to stare at that one as it goes by him. King. Goes down on strikes. Slammer. This will be... Oh! Routine fly out by the left fielder. He's going to drop it. I don't think this is really going to affect them or harm them much, but... Uh, I'm a closer is in. Is going to walk Kulik Warren. Rake hard. There is a double play ball, and they will turn it as Death Valley just... I want to see the left on base by the end of this game because there has got to be quite a few, quite a few blown opportunities, unfortunately. As uh, the runner will ground out there. Cove. Uh, diving catch by the center fielder to make that play. And then Kruger will go down on strikes. Power draws a walk. Salmon Arms draws another walk. Kuma, gonna go down on strikes. Ausman, gonna draw a walk. Bases loaded, one out situation for Verrero. That is a grounder to the pitcher. They'll get the runner at home. So still a zero on the board. King 
goes down on strikes. So I think New York is going to take the strikeouts there. It was close until the end. 5 nothing is your final. Uh, oh, yeah. Death Valley, 22 batters stranded on base. That is unfortunate. 5-0 uh, is your final. Eight hits by New York. Using the old small ball to get it done. Gosman will get the win. Secret of the loss. Evoc, you said RIP your ERA. You're 3.32. Like, that's... Come on. Come on. You're still fine. Gosman, player of the game. Oh, sorry, Captain. Did you verify? Did you did you get it? Okay, it looks like you rewarded it. Okay, we're good. Uh, OBX getting into the win column here again as they beat the Apex. Three to one is your final uh, pitcher duel. As there was only eight hits combined both teams, no one had a multi-hit game. Um, Morgan is going to get the win. Uh, were they up for a milestone? They were. Is that win one hundred? Uh, 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 uh. that is so i think this is morgan's retirement tour uh but congrats bailey uh i'm not sure if you're watching but congratulations uh that's win 100 Crabs are going to beat the Space Rangers. 3-1 is your final on eight hits. Uh, Multi-hit games here by Gonzalez and Shiesty Jr. And the winning cause is uh, Dog and Eminem puts up two of themselves. Oh, a three-hit game by Boyant. <gasps> oh, yes. So, in the dirt, I think it was our next starter. But it looks like the Sim has skipped them. Uh, so, Hypoc or Hypocrites has come out. Uh, they're going to get the loss. They did last eight innings, so that will help probably rest. Uh, as uh, Meta gets the win, Bendia the save. Player of the game is Flamethrower Meta. Wow, Surge are on a tear this sim. 11 to 3 is your finals. They are now up to 23 wins. Just like that, they are back in the mix. Uh, 10 hits for them. Calvera, 4 RBIs and 1 hit. Uh, that's a Grand Slam? Question mark? Um, and then a four RBI game as well for Aaron Taylor. Hooper is going to get the W as Bay will get the loss. Player of the game is Aaron Taylor. Toros are going to beat the Vandals here 10 to 4 on 18 hits. Wow. Vandals put up 10 hits as well. Like, that's a lot of hits. Uh, Blue Sky, four for three. Five, three runs, five RBIs. Uh, pretty much, like I always say, that's almost a perfect game. Although JJS followed it up with one of their own. Um, pitching uh, Vancouver bullpen. Wow. Uh, they are getting worked. As Cove takes the loss, Stroh gets the W, Fielder the save, and player of the game is Zodiac Blue Sky. Seattle back to five hundy as they beat the Sloths here three to one on eight hits. Uh, a couple multi hit games here by Miss and Angel. San Antonio is going to get the fifth loss of the year as Bouchard picks up their third win as the relievers going to be the deciders here. And player of the game is Turanga Lila. Uh, Demons beat the Raptors here, getting a 30 wins. 62 is your final. Um, just a lot of single hits. We had one double up, which is Vita in the number two slot. Cove gets the loss. Quinton O'Quarters, their ninth win. As uh, Williams' second save. Player of the game is Quinton O'Quarters. And last game of the day. I'm sorry, Zach, if you're watching. I didn't want to say anything, but Nashville almost was looking like they could have had an undefeated stream. Unfortunately, my team had to spoil it for you. Uh, I apologize, but also suck it. <laughs> uh, I love you guys in Nashville. Please don't hate me. 6-2 uh, is your final as Nashville puts up two runs late, actually. Um, 
as uh, taking a look at the batting again, a lot of even hitting here. Uh, Mite and Mills uh, both hit games at the top of the lineup and on Nashville's side. It's the bottom of the lineup as Yaboa and Williams get two hits each. Thrasterson picks up their 10th win of the year. Uh, almost went the distance. Pitch count just got a bit too high as Zwaje gets the loss. Player of the game is Orjan Thrasterson. Uh, so that is going to do it for the majors. Take a look at the minors. Uh, Bruce City wins another one here. Um, four to one is your final over the lemurs. Uh, sorry, uh, Captain, your lemurs have been on a bit of a skid here. Sad face. Uh, Leg will get a three hit game at the top of the lineup as you just have a couple multi hit games here spread out between the teams. Uh, Paps gets the win, Budweiser the save, Burger the loss, player of the game is CJ Burger. Uh, Ranas will get back into the win column here as they beat the Dillos here, 5-3 to three on 7 hits. Uh, 3 hit game, 2 RBIs for Cove on Puerto Rico's side. Jiwoo, the loss. Matthews, the win. Their first of the year. So congrats, Matthews, getting in the W column. Goodman, the save. Player of the game is Yinis Cove. Firehawks finally getting a W here. Two to nothing against the Wheelers. Um, stat line is so short that the pitching showing on the initial screen. So uh, two hit game here. Two RBIs for Archer. Uh, Abernathy Jr. will get the loss. 43 Jr. the win. Player of the game is Jack Nitro. Mingos keep on winning as they uh, deny the Kingpins their 40th win. 8-1 to one is your final. I don't know if Parquad's here, but um, if he is, he's going to probably beg me to stream every single game or every day now for the, uh, the Mingos alone. Uh, 13 hits to 5. Uh, three hit game here for Sakudo. Uh, they keep chugging along there in the number three spot. Down to pitching. Bakugo is going to get the W. Pecora the loss, their first of the year. And player of the game is Katsugu Bakugo. Uh, Hepcats take it to the Swifties as Swifties have been taking a bit of an L this stream so far. 13 3 is your final. Four for four day with one RBI for McCringleberry in the loss. Uh, four for five day, one RBI for Stevo, and four ribbies for Dynasty. Trover now is going to get the loss as Legacy Point will get the win while getting a lot of decisions out of the pen for them. Player of the game is Erp Stevo. Oh, hello, cat. How can I help you? <clears throat> save on this one today is the 27th so we have a quick sim day and then Lun versus Buffalo see if the Buffalo train can keep on going start the miners like we always do Hepcats beat the Swifties 5-3 to three is your final. They get out hit, but uh, Swifties' three errors might have cost them this one. Uh, Asaro, 3-for-4 day. Doesn't get any ribbies, though, for State College, as the ribbies are going to be coming for uh, Dynasty and Thriller. Chapperson takes the loss. Uh, Glorbenspiel the win, as Ziegler picks up her 12th save. Play the game is Starburns Glorbenspiel. Louisville gets a win. 11 to 3 is your final here on 15 hits. Uh, 3 for 5 day for BD Jr. 3 for 5 day for Bullworm. And a pair of 3 RBIs for McDaniel and Javier Franco. Squirrel gets the loss. Roll the win. Player of the game is Carl BD Jr. Kingpins finally get there. I shouldn't say finally, uh, but 3 nothing is the final as they will get to 40 wins here uh, against the Mingos. 
three hit day here for Murphy the second here on Chicago side puts up an RBI as well Stoner will get the loss Hydra's side the win Fanch on the save player of the game is Vincent Hydrashide. Firehawks beat the Wheelers 11 to 3 is your final on 14 hits Anchorage side we have a three hit game for Otaj and the losing cause uh, everyone on California getting hit, but the top of the lineup is the ones putting in work as Raka Daniels Archer putting up multi-hit games. Uh, Guy Lord takes the loss. Uh, Biglet the win. Player of the game is Daniel Archer. And last minor's game day is the Ranas are going to beat the Dillos here. 7 to 5 on 9 hits. Um, a couple of the hit games here for Stern, Barry, and Barazowski. Salad getting the loss. Mitt the win out of the pen. Goodman the save. Player of the game is Griffin Barry. Raptors are going to beat the Sea Serpents here 3-2 to two as they finally get a win on stream. Um, eight hits against four. Uh, three hit game here for Allen, putting up an RBI as well. Bouchard gets the double ouch, the loss and blown save as they only last one batter. Well, I should say one out and then give this one up, unfortunately. Uh, Blitzy gets the W. Player of the game is Ermagur, despite the a loss by the team, unfortunately. Uh, Pathfinder is going to beat the Demons here 12 to 4 on 11 hits. An eight run sixth inning by the Pathfinders. Um, everyone on Toronto getting a hit. Uh, Mo Love putting up three RBIs. Zach Johnson, two hits, two RBIs. And notice Ixon, three RBIs. Uh, Ixon, who had trouble finding a home. Uh, we gave him one, and he has been uh, putting in some work here early. Maybe he gets an all-star nod in his uh, rookie season. Uh, Man will get the loss as Toussaint will get the win. As ooh, it's Delling who let up the four earned runs there. Player of the game is Zach Johnson Jr. Stars beat the Aviators seven to six. Oh, a close one. Uh, hits were very close as well. As all the scoring happened before the last three innings, then it was just uh, relief pitching and sweating. As uh, Nashville, uh, three for five day, three RBIs for Jacques Hammer. Uh, Hira Hara, three for three, two RBIs. Three hit game for Keru in the losing cause. Donahue will get the win. Ishioka the save, Sheets the loss, player of the game is Jacques Hummer. Crabs are going to beat the Apex here, 8 to 1 is your final, 16 hits to 6. Uh, Goose going 3 for 5, putting up a ribby, 3 hits as well for another one of the Coves. Uh, the history index might be a mess by the time we're done with all these. Uh, 3 RBIs for Cool Crab. Gun gets the loss. Uh, Torrent the win. Player of the game, Pax Torrent. Voyagers will beat the Rugerus 5 0. Ooh, limit them to only two hits. Quite the pitching performance. Uh, multi hit game there by Cove. Paladoris putting up three RBIs. Parco is your pitcher. So, again, Parkwad is going to have to send me a care package, I think, after the sim. A liking of the loss. Player of the game is Anthony Parko. Death Valley beats the Vandals 6-3 to three here. Both teams 10 hits, but the five-run second is going to be what does it for the Scorpions. Uh, Multi-hit games here for Osman and Verrero. Three-hit game for Catcher Scudder and the losing cause. Tsunami's going to get the win. Lothbrook the loss. Good God, the the uh, Vancouver bullpen. <laughs> Somebody, please save them. Uh, Johnny Tsunami, your second player of the game. Toros are going to beat the Sloss here. one nothing on just four hits. Uh, wow. 
that is that is something. Haven't seen something like that in a while. Uh, only multi hit came coming from Fresca in the losing cause. Samson gets the W, knock the save, and Quest takes the loss despite a good pitching performance. But one earned run is just going to do it. Player of the game, Ike Sampson. And the surge, keep it going. 30 wins now. Uh, 4 to 1 is your final against the Space Rangers. Uh, Alvarez putting up three hits in the losing cause with some multi hit games coming from Calavera and OOTB Wizard for Buffalo. Uh, pitching Mana Right will get the loss. Clifton, the win. Wah, the save. Player of the game is Dolores Clifton. All right, so we move on to the 29th. Um, I did the minors, right? Yes, I did. Moving on to the 29th, we have our last stream game of the day, and then we are donezo. And then we get to find out who our all-stars are for this season. Uh, Lunar Base holding a slight advantage against Buffalo, but Buffalo is on like a seven or eight game winning streak right now. Uh, so this will be a fun one to watch, I think, as uh, it's the hot streak versus the quote unquote better team. So uh, I think the bet's been up for quite some time. I'll just get this started so we can get things polished up there. Everyone can get excited about all star nominations or are crushed and disappointed and can browse the index. We are going to start off here with Morgan against Randall Jr. And they are going to punch that one up the middle. Lead off single. We'll see if they go for the old SB. They do not. And it is going to cost them as uh, they are going to get tossed out second. And the lead off runner gets tossed out again. All right. Just keep throwing the guy off at second. I guess that works. Oh, they go for the guy at first this time. All right. Uh, they get to the inning. No harm, no foul here as Mecarina is up against Forbes Jr. They are going to draw a walk. They are going for the old stolen base and they are going to be safe. Almost at 50 already. Good God. Calvera goes down on strikes. Wizard as that. Mm, is that going to be error? I don't think so. They just couldn't get it to settle down. But a double play ball will save the run getting countered against them. Chains still on this cold streak as they are going to crank this one out of here. Uh, 401 feet. It looked like it was longer, but uh, we'll see if that breaks them out of this uh, little cold streak that got going here. And there's your first run on the board. It does at least by the display. So, uh, and that's their 10th of the year. In the lake is going to go down strikes. That one is hit to the second baseman. That one is into the gap. Uh, Boyant is chugging hard as they are going to be a, a double. That one's hitting the same area. I did not low enough, not far enough. That'll be caught. Monster goes down on strikes. There is a walk there by Dentro. That one is hit into right field and will be your run now. Ballard Jr. That's the first they'll tag up and that will end the inning. Morgan draws a walk. They will not go, but there will be pop-up center field. Will be caught. Eminem, there they go now. And they're there with time to spare. Eminem draws a walk, so two on, one out situation. Votto to the first baseman. They'll get one, but can't turn two. They did try. Then a swing strike with the chains will get them out of the inning. Still one nothing. That is two sec shortstop. Sorry, will be tossed it at first. Forbes Jr. skies that one, but is going to be right on the wall and caught. Calavera sneaks that one past the second baseman. Wizard goes down on strikes. 
in the lake up here as unfortunately chains uh, ice cubes did return that one is in the right field and got boyon mm, uh, what okay i guess that's a foul single they will get the runner at first, so the uh, foul single will not come back to haunt us. I mean, we had two for against Toronto in the playoffs, but I mean, yeah, that's that's old news at this point. Uh, that is over the shortstop's head and into left field. Cookie Monster. Uh, double play ball, and they will turn it. Uh, is apparently that's one of the animations I've noticed with 23 is something clearly looks foul but then it's just like a hit Alvarez goes down on strikes Eminem that's the third baseman they pick it up and will make the play into the bottom of the fifth here still one nothing the lead that is caught there by shortstop Valor Jr. Hits at the shortstop, they'll make the play. Some impressive rage by Boyant so far. And that's going to be a quick 1 2 3 inning here. As Arena is at 69 pitches and already in the tired ter uh, territory here. So we'll see how long they last. That is cranked by Chains. Their second home run of the game. They've got to be out of the cold streak at this point, game. Uh, two run blast. I'll see you later. As uh, runs seem to be hard to come by, so this might be a uh, nail in the coffin here. Buffalo, like I said, one of the leading offensives here, so they have the ability to come back. Uh, I think that will do it for the bet, though. As there's a quick two outs there. No throw from the third base. So Boyant will make it there in time. But this should end the inning. Uh, we are down to the last three innings here. Last nine outs here. Top of the inning for the surge. Forbes Jr. as India, Indianapolis is in. Pop out there by Forbes Jr. Calvera into right field. Uh, not known to steal. They are the people surrounding him. That one is hit deep and gone. OOTP Wizard, their 12th of the year. See you later. And just like that, our lead is down to one. That is in a right field. Will be caught, though. Monster puts that one into the g -g 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 gap as they are going to go hard for second. Looked like they had time to go for third, but uh, held up. Denstro. Ooh, I thought that was going into the gap, but it is caught. Also, I lied about last nine outs. It was last 12. Now we're into the final three innings. I don't know what I'm talking about. Ooh, as Morgan gets gunned down, trying to go for number 30. Alvarez grounds out to first. M&M into the gap. That's going to be three. It is, as that's a triple here with two outs. Hulk Avado skies that one. Will be caught. So a one-run lead will be half to what they cling to right now so far. Taylor goes down swinging. Fowler Jr. Hits that one high. Deep. That's gone. Mm -hmm. No nail in the coffin here as we are reset now. Three runs apiece as home runs are the difference maker in this one. Uh, no small ball here. It is all by a power. Savage up the middle. They're going to get on first. Forbes Jr. tries to do the same thing, but this one dies in the dirt. There goes the runner. They are going to be safe. Number 50 for Forbes Jr. And then into the good, good gap for Calvera. As this is going to be the lead here for Buffalo. 4-3 now. Pitching change as Marston comes in. Normally used for save situations. That is going to be free out in foul territory. As Lunar Base now. Uh, they're down with their six final outs. 
Chains, two home runs this game, is going to hit it at the third baseman. Walk there by In the Lake. Newman, as Delete the Index comes in. And they are going to turn a double play. So just like that, nice relief appearance as uh, Buffalo hoping to extend their league, but at this point just need to hold. Cookie Monster, little single there in front of the southern fielder. Denstro right at the second baseman. Taylor goes down on strikes. So we have Boyant, Cross, Erickson, and Morgan up for Lunar Base to keep this thing going. Boyant is not going to have enough as it is just shy of the warning track. Cross, Erickson, grounder to second. It is all up to Morgan. And they go down on strikes. Buffalo looked out of it, but then in the 6th and 7th, get enough to get it done. 4-3 is your final by the surge on 10 hits. Uh, change those two home runs and three RBIs, but just not enough as Cookie Monster goes 3 for 4. Calvera, 3 for 4 as well. Uh, Polis gets the double outs loss and blown save as Choi the win. Dead next, the save. Player of the game is Allison Chains. Crabs are going to beat the Apex here 11 0 on 16 hits. Uh, Goose going four for four, three runs, three RBIs, and a walk. Again, perfect day if you're a batter. Three hits for Gonzalez and Gator as well. Uh, no starters used. And we're about to go on a break, so Indianapolis gets lucky here as Rove got hooked quick and the bullpen all came in. Daly remains undefeated. Play the game, Swans on Goose. This one goes to extras in order to get done here, but Demons will beat the Pathfinders. 3-2 to two is your final on just five hits. Uh, unfortunate for us. Um, <clears throat> two hits, two RBIs here for a Dogwood in the win. Uh, Williams will get the blown save, but Delling will get the win. Cramblin the blown save. J Doctor the loss. Player of the game is Cy Duck. Sea Serpents beat the Raptors 12 to two on 17 hits. Uh, Raptors had a lead here going to the fourth and then it just all fell apart. Um, everyone in Seattle getting hits pretty much except for poor Piranha Plant. They missed the memo. Tull will get the win. Tiny Chef uh, Anik uh, takes the loss. Player of the game, Harley Quinn. Toros beat the Sloss 9-5 is your final. Put up six runs in the eighth to take this one away. Uh, Diamonds, three for five, two RBIs for the Toros. Uh, three hit games here for Alves and Alanakai. Montaigne gets the win. Kamuro, the double ouch, loss and blown save. Player of the game is Luigi Alanakai. Scorpions beat the Vandals here 5-1. Uh, three RBI game for Salmon Arms. Two hits for Hard and Akuma. Lebowski goes the distance. Uh, nine innings pitch. Gets the win. Rigs the loss. Player of the game is Jeffrey Lebowski. Voyagers beat the Rougarou. Six to three is your final on ten hits. Uh, three hit, three RBI day for Paladoris. Paladoris has been absolutely on fire this season. Um... 343. Holy. Uh, Eshelman still looking for their first win of the year. Uh, Crawford gets their eighth. Ness, eighth save. Player of the game is Squints Pot Ors. Nashville will beat the Aviators here as this takes extras, but they'll get it done on the 11th. 3 to 2 is your final. Uh, 3 for 5 day, 2 RBIs for Salamanca. Uh, 4 hit game for Kim in the losing cost. 364. Good God. Uh, Ishioka, the blown save, but Krunk picks up the win. Sox, loss, and blown save. Player of the game is Claw Daddy. Down to the minors, Wheelers will beat the Firehawks 7-4 on 11 hits. 
Uh, three hit game for Archer and the losing cause. Couple multi hit games for Otage, McNeely, and Wallace. Fisher gets the win. Pitt the loss. Player of the game is Herbert Fisher. Kingpins beat the Mingos 4 3 is your final. Uh, three hit game for Johnson and the losing cause. Three hits, three RBIs for Honkball for the win. Flaps, double ouch, lost, blown save. Wid Healy's their fourth win in a relief. Player of the game is Dave Honkball. Dillos beat the Ranas 12 to 2 on 17. I We just saw like this pretty much the exact same stat line for a majors game, did we not? I'm not going crazy, right? Um <laughs> the Sim just copy paste. Uh, da, 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 Dillo's all the hits coming from seven batters. Slamdolph and Gordon missing out in the party. Uh, Arcanum gets their seventh win. Crane pulled their third loss, or fifth loss. Player of the game is Troy Murphy. Hepcats beat the Steeds 6 1, um, 14 hits. Uh, everyone getting hit except for a poor thriller. They at least drew some walks, so that's a W. O'Bones gets the loss. Melgar the win. Player of the game is Roman Melgar. And the Bruce City Bears are going to beat the Lemurs 5-2 to two here on 9 hits. Uh, McRoy and stuff, 1 for 5, 3 RBIs. Uh, that's a home run that's going to drive in those amount of runs with so little. Ford gets the W. Matt of the loss. Player of the game is Aaron Ford. So with that, we can save. Uh, I just want to make sure. So I think I have to go forward one day. And then it should generate. It's one or two. So there's one. Do, 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 do. Okay, so I do think it's two. I don't think there's games for either, either, either. One more. Save. Okay, here we go. Miners, all stars. Uh, let's get some screenshots going oops uh at message Okay, I'm going to have to format this better. Uh, delete message, delete. Okay. Do 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 uh da 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 Uh, what do we think? Font size 20, miners, all stars. I'm going to be posting uh, screenshots of this. So if you guys like 
are being blocked or can't see this, do not worry. It will be on announcements here very shortly. Uh, da, 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 da. Sorry, game. Okay, okay. Image crop. <sighs> oh my god, why do I keep doing this? Delete message. Okay, congrats to all our season 44 all stars. And then publish. There we go. We did it. Way to go, team. I'm proud of you all. Okay, right, so that's posted in the discords. Uh, so that should be there for everyone. Uh, and then let's take a look at the standings. Uh, let's actually start with the miners. Uh, so we can see right now, kingpins are in quite the lead here. Uh, I think if we looked at standings, that was better. Uh, wild card is what? So it's one, two. The miners eight teams make it, right? Division winners, and then it's the next best six. So one, two, three, four, five, six, right? It's just the bottom two who don't make it for the miners. It's been a while uh, for me. Uh, but we can see here that Lee or Swifties have lost eight in a row, so that's tough. Louisville. They didn't have a winless stream. They won one, at least, because they've only lost one in a row. Bottom four miss. Okay. Well, we've got a fight still going here for that last spot, for sure. Um, Mingos did start off the stream well, but then have kind of lost a couple here. Kingpins just keep on rolling. I like looking at expanded standings because it's cool to see the run differential, and we can see that one of these things is not like the other. Going to the majors, uh, we can just straight up look at this view. Uh, so New York, um, like I said, I think they started off slow, but have like really gone ahead in this division again. So it's it's nuts. It's still close. I pick Providence to take it. Um, you can see that they've had a little bit worse luck than the Voyagers. Run differential is in their favor, just or two wins short. Buffalo. Uh, they've won nine in a row. Uh, they were out of it, and now they're back into it. So, exciting for them. Uh, Sloss have lost seven in a row. Um, I'd be lying to, if I didn't say it's nice to have a gap in them finally. Uh, but, I mean, it's it's unfortunate for them, for sure. Wow, minus five for a Pythag. Oh, that is a rough. Uh, Lunar Base out in front. Uh, Stars, I think, I went 6-1 and one this stream, except for that one loss. Um, but yeah. Benny, you're not, you're not catching Vancouver. Like, you would have to have the league increase the cap by 20 million to move all your guys' veterans if you really wanted to move them, and uh, you, you cannot equal their roster. Like, it's just not going to happen. I'm sorry. The Apex that they had a, quite a few losses, which is which is rough to them. It's I always think it's interesting to look at some random stuff like this. Like the Apex, they're not bad against righties, but God, they struggle against lefties. Um, Toros, 
Uh, they're being caught by Death Valley a bit. Uh, Seattle fighting for that last playoff spot. But, I mean, Nashville's put themselves in that conversation as well, I think. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see once the All-Star break uh, eclipses um, who can kind of pull away here. But, anyways, All-Star rosters are posted. We will hit the old save game and we will get this uploaded uh, so we can get a move on here. Oops, I don't want that. I want this. Commissioner's office. And we can hit execute. So now's the time if you want. You can do like ask the booth, whatever you guys would like to do. Um, yeah. Open the floor for some questions. I can also put this up. Yeah, there we go. So we can see all the all-stars. We can have a chat about that if you guys want. Any surprises, any omissions. It's a lot to take in at first to be like, hey, this person was totally missed or not. So, um, yeah. What did I have for lunch? Um, so my birthday is on December 22nd, uh, but because my wife works all day and I am currently on parental leave, I will be watching a baby all day. So I won't really get <laughs> like a birthday celebration. It's just, it's gonna be too much in one day. And I think some of our family starting to arrive for Christmas. Um, we're kind of hosting because we're the only kind of members of the family who have a house that's kind of large enough to host everyone. Um, so I kind of had my birthday lunch today, which is like, I just really wanted a sub from Subway. Uh, so I got my crispy chicken with crispy onions, cheese, sweet onion teriyaki, and that's it. Old meat and cheese guy. Um, so that was, uh, that was good. And then we did the other thing, which I really wanted to do, which um, because the weeks are so hectic, I just really wanted to go for a nice long hike in the woods near us uh, with our with our son so that's what we did we went for a nice walk as a family it's nice to get out fresh air it was a perfect day not a lot of wind the sun was out um it was like plus five degrees uh this is in celsius because i'm canadian um so it was it was pretty good and then tonight we're supposed to do sushi for my uh birthday dinner and at some point i'll get a cheesecake made for me um which is like my desired uh spoiler dessert so yeah uh, do you, the idea there are multiple types of infinity leave you unable to sleep at night? No, I mean, honestly, duck, I really enjoy, um, I really enjoy anything space-based. Like I love reading about the different theories and like how there's that one giant dark spot that's like unexplained. And it's like, what does that mean? What is it? You know, whatever distances and sizes of things. But I start thinking about it too much sometimes. And then I kind of get overwhelmed at the size of everything and like, I would love to be able to see so much in my lifetime, but I just know it's not going to happen. And then you start thinking about your own morality and stuff. And so, yeah, anyways, it's fun to think about, but you have to limit yourself to a point because uh, your brain can only take so much. Um, mentioned the cap. It's the reason so many of the bullpens are short. I mean, it's just utility of cap. Um, realistically, the way our league is developed, you really only can afford to spend cap on really one elite closer you probably should make cap for two. Um, the minimum RP that you need in this league is, I would argue, is four, but really you should probably have six. Personally, for our team, we have the cap allocated for four relievers, but I always carry two under, two, under 200 TPE in actives. They have no role set. Their job is literally if we go to an 18 uh, inning game that they come in and I don't have a starter start if it's at all possible. Um, I don't know why t more teams do that. Th those players don't really lose us a whole bunch of games. They play so little and it just saves us from having a, a starter skipped. Um, I don't know how to fix that problem because if you're going to use cap and players, you're using it on your batters and your starting pitchers. RP is always going to be secondary. Um, I, I don't know how to fix that. I, I Part of me, it's it's just, 
I feel like this could fix it, but it just overcomplicates things is we should almost just have a separate cap hit for relievers that's separate from your normal cap. But like, how do you work that? Like it's, it's really complicated. Um, and people have said, well, pay relievers like half, like their, their cap hit is half on the actual cap. But like that makes it complicated for compendium guys and payouts and stuff. So I don't know what to what their solution is. I feel like the only solution would be like every team has to mandatorily carry six relievers, which then could cause like some, I guess, like players to be able to move around like some people want. But I still don't think that's a solution because that kind of anti funds things a little bit. I don't know. It's it's a tough one. Our league is kind of based around one area, but the sim engine is based in a way that you need more RP. So I don't know what the answer is there. I wish that people would dive into that a bit more and maybe try and find some solutions. I just, lately, I don't have the mental capacity myself to try and think about that stuff, at least currently. Um, but that's where I kind of stand on it, at least. I mean, nine man staff and 10, that's, I think that's too much still because we just don't have enough creates to fill that void. Even if you took every inactive pitcher off of the free agent list, I don't think you would have enough to fill that many roles for every team. I feel like six should be kind of your magic number, at least for the way our league is structured. Six or seven, I think is fine. Any more than that, I think is pushing it because we just don't have enough creates to, to offset that. Unless we looked at GMs getting two players which I'm in favor of because I think it would be fun and it would help me solve more problems, but I understand why that's not a thing. Uh, and I really don't like the idea of bots, especially in the majors. Uh, did you, any surprise all-star selections snubs for Toronto? Uh, I don't know. I'd have to look. Some of the guys were close this stream. Uh, what can I say was picked? Starscream was picked. Thrasterson was picked. All makes sense. Um, Maurer was picked and Toussaint again makes sense Crablin I think has had a pretty good year but it's going to be tough with such low TPE uh, Mills I'm very happy was picked the guy uh, JD has been such a great user for a team he deserves this win um, I'd like to have seen obviously John Wayne be picked for second but it's really tough there's a lot of good second baseman right now and he's just not quite there for TPE, like as far as maxing out. Um, Johnson got picked. Pizzeski got picked. That's good. Uh, only one shortstop got picked. I think that's the biggest surprise. Is I don't know what Lewis's ratings and WAR and stuff were, but the fact that only one shortstop from our, uh, well, for both sides got picked is a bit surprising. I get Magician isn't like sexy for the sim, but like, yeah, only one. That's that's a bit surprising. Uh, Mo Love and Ixon getting picked is friggin' great. Um, obviously, Loki, another great user. I'm so happy to see him get picked. And Ixon was kind of someone that Lunar Base was trying to find a, a home for. And then we got him on, and they've been great. So, How, many, how about expanding the schedule? Schedule has been talked about numerous times about changing it to like 120 games so everyone plays everyone they knew like the same amount of games so it's completely even no one can complain about strength of schedule but that's been shot down numerous times it's a very split vote um half the gms are in favor of it <clears throat> myself uh others are not so let's keep looking here as we need to upload this now I always have to find where the dang links are because I'm blind as a bat. Do, 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 do. Uh, two way contracts, call up the send downs. Uh, people get fined as is because they can't fill out the call up send downs once a year if it was a constant thing um, certain GMs would use it uh, others wouldn't or they wouldn't use it properly and we would just see fines going out everywhere uh, so I, I don't think that'll ever happen
Yeah, miners, you can't run four. There's no way. Uh, the stamina, no one invests more than 50 stamina for their starting pitchers. And they get murdered because the way the modifiers are, it, it is hitter friendly in the miners. Um, so yeah, you need like at least like seven bullpen arms in the miners, I think, or you just get like killed. Absolutely killed. Because no one lasts more than five innings most of the time before they get hooked. Yeah, and expanding the schedule, it would still be the same. We'd probably have three, four game series. It just there would be more off days in between. I think, I think realistically, if you went to one twenty games, which would be the easiest, um, you just do four game series and then a day or two break, whatever you need to do, and then another four game series, and, and that's it. Um, if people are really concerned about rest, then you fix the RP situation or. Um, you make it so that you play two on, one off, two on, one off or something. I don't know. Something like that. Or you do like three one day break and then finish the fourth game and then have your next two at the next game. It's not like we have to worry about travel between them. So you could essentially do three days, one, three days, one, three days, one. Uh, I'm just going to hide my screen for half a second just where I go to my own PBE account. can't remember if my IP shows or not, but just in case. Uh, we'll double check. Is the index updated? Yep. Index is updated. Uh, All-star rosters are posted, so we should be good to go. Um, yeah. And no to two-way players captain. <laughs> that That's one of the things that tilts me so bad. Is like, the only way that would work is... Even if you maxed out as a pitcher and batter, you would still be like below league average. Or you could make it that you're only a good pitcher and a really shitty batter, or vice versa. You could not make it so the the player could be Otani because then everyone would just make a two way and the league would be broken after that. Anyways, uh, we're all good. So thanks everyone. Um, Maybe I should do another podcast sometime where people can ask questions like this if you guys enjoy hearing my insight and all that jazz. But besides that, I think we're good. Uh, we will bid you all adieu, and I hope you have a good weekend.